What is up everybody? I'm Kenny. This is KJ Collections. Hope you had a great Christmas and I hope you're going to have a happy new year here coming up in a few days. Let me know down in the comments below what you got for Christmas and what you're excited and looking forward to on the new year. Um, and yeah, yeah, just talk to me down below. This video, welcome, welcome, thank you for joining me in hell. No, just kidding. But that's what uh, Funko Pop collecting for Dragon Ball people feels like right now. It is terrible. Um, Funko has completely lost their minds. They're cranking new pops out like every day. And they're given all kinds of exclusive ones. And the resellers and the flippers and the scalpers are just jizzing everywhere at all the money they're making. And it is completely ridiculous. These are just the recent few like exclusives that I've picked up. Um, I'm slowly completing the commons and of course there's going to be more coming out if you haven't heard there's going to be uh, commons of hopefully they're commons because good grief the androids uh, King Kai with bubbles um, and then Yamcha with poir and there's one other one that I keep I'm forgetting right now but then and then Jiren's going to be an exclusive so that'll be a nightmare and uh, I haven't got my Super Saiyan 2 Gohan yet which looks like the best pop they've come out with in my opinion um, I think some guy in the GameStop warehouse is just selling all of our pops on eBay, I'm pretty sure. It got delayed from, like, December 5th or something to the 18th, and then now nobody knows where they are. So, let me know if you got your SS2 Gohan already. This is SS1, Super Saiyan 1, for all the noobs. Um, there's a bunch of noobs out there that don't understand. They're just in the pop game for the money. Um, but that's what Gohan looks like, Super Saiyan 1. Super Saiyan 2, his hair is spiked up more. So, Yeah. There's, here's the one from Galactic Toys. Hopefully they're going to restock this because the, the price on him is ridiculous now. I'm glad I pre-ordered when I did. Uh, it was supposedly like one per person, but we all know Flippers got more. Um, going back farther, let's see. I think Zeno was the first of all these to come out, maybe. Well, those might have came out before Zeno, actually. I don't remember anymore, but it's a disaster. So yeah, there's the Broly one. That was from uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Shout out to the people that were looking out for me because I had to work the day that it happened. So, and I uh, couldn't, I wasn't fast enough online. I like how Yamcha shows a bunch of them on the back, but yeah. So there's those from the, from San Diego Comic Con this past year. We had Zeno, which was a Galactic Toys one. And if you don't know by now, get on Galactic Toys as soon as they announce them and pre-order yours. Because then Galactic Toys raises the price. So they start at like $18 and then they're going to go up to like $25 if they have stock left. Shinron was the same way. I got my Shinron for 30 and I think then he ended up being 35 or 40 when they restocked him. So you want to get the Galactic Toys ones early if you can. At least Galactic Toys uh, puts theirs in like one of the soft, uh, soft shell cases. Um, and they're not like the other assholes who don't put anything in there. Um, and then your boxes come destroyed after you've paid $17 for a hunk of plastic that doesn't do anything. And you get pissed off. So... That's essentially how Funko Pop collecting goes right now. Uh, who is next? Oh, I guess this is the oldest out of all of them. But this is a metallic Vegeta. Let me know down in the comments below what he was originally from. I don't remember if... I assume he was a convention exclusive of some sort, the metallic Vegeta. This one doesn't have the sticker on it because this one came from the boys over in Australia at Pop Culture. They restocked a few months ago, and I picked this up. It was like $25 after shipping all the way to the USA from Australia. And their... They packaged it better, and it got here in better condition than some pops in the U.S. There's just a little dent on the back. You can't really see it. But, yeah, so Australia ships pops better than the U.S., so great job. Great job, guys, at Pop Culture. I highly recommend them. Um, the shipping was really cheap for coming all the way from Australia, and I'm excited to have this Metallic Vegeta because the Metallic Goku from the Loot Crate, the Loot Crate exclusive Metallic Goku, is probably my favorite Dragon Ball pop. I really like it a lot. Uh, my boy Paul went to FYE because I don't have one in my city. Shout out to my boy Paul, though. He went and got me one. But uh, Paul is a noob and didn't know that the box was dented. Once again, you can't really see. You can kind of see the line on Master Roshi's face. Oh, there there we go. So, yeah, it was dented. There were only two left when he went that morning. Um, and he doesn't know about Pop, so he didn't know to check the box hardcore for dents in the back. But that's fine. I'm cool with it. I was glad to have it. And then they restocked online and in store. FYE kind of pissed me off though because it was two per person online and then when Paul went into the store they would only let him buy one. I usually buy two if I can just in case the box or the paint or something is messed up. Um, 
So yeah, that was stupid how if you spend the effort to go into the store, they only let you buy one, but online it was two per person, so all the flippers could get them. But that's typical, typical Funko Pop collecting right there. And Funko, get your shit together. His mustache is drooping. There should not, look at that massive gap. There's a massive gap in between his face and his mustache. Funko can't assemble pieces correctly. Oh my gosh. Grinds my gears. But there's the back of Roshi. And yeah, let me know if you're able to get all these or if you're struggling to find some. I hope you find them because, yeah, it is a nightmare trying to get these now. This one was at GameStop recently. It's kind of a cop-out because it looks very similar to the blue shirt or blue Gi Goku from before. This one was at GameStop, but it has the Funko Insiders Club little sticker on it. So you know we're all going to pay that money to get that get that pop. At least he's only, I think they were only like $12 at GameStop. They probably could have cranked it up to $15 since it's an exclusive, but they didn't. And weirdly enough, on the back he has the old standing pose and then the Bulma. So that's bizarre. I'm assuming they're going to, oh, I'm assuming they're going to restock these GameStop ones at some point. I don't think they're just going to have one wave and done. And basically, if you didn't go in store to pre-order these, you didn't get them. I think they canceled people's online pre-orders. I highly doubt that's going to be just a one wave. They usually restock these, so I'm sure they will. Coming along right next to him, they had this SS3 Goku, which is also really expensive and a complete nightmare for people to get. You had to pretty much go in store and pre-order. If you pre-ordered online, they canceled most of them. Um, fortunately, I've been in the game long enough. I know how things work, so I went into the stores the day of the pre-orders and got them. SS3 is my favorite form, and uh, sadly, with this one with the hair, um, this is a separate piece here in the front, and uh, it's a giant piece altogether. Sometimes they miss the paint lines, as you can see right there. I think it's worse on my other one. And you can't see it as well, but in person, the glue is really obvious there. And uh, there's some gappage going on. I think the other one I have is worse with the gapping. But it, yeah, just kind of sad. Little little disappointing things like that make me, make me sad that I'm paying $15 for these that just sat on a shelf. But hey, I'll take them. I'm, I'm too far into the game to quit now, am I right? Who's with me there? Went to the wonderful and amazing Dragon Ball North American Tour. Um, stop number six in Dallas. Yeah, and like Irving, at the Irving Convention Center in Texas. It was amazing, tons of fun. Um, I got to meet Chris Sabat, who was giving away these pops, and people are angry. People are heated over this pop because the website that he launched to uh, give exclusive merchandise to fans, it's a trash website. It crashed a bunch, and all the flippers got them. Uh, so, yeah. Um, really hard pop to get, but pretty much right now, um, he's going to have some at conventions all throughout 2019, so if you're a true Dragon Ball fan, go meet him at a convention, he's a great guy, and you can get yourself your Majin Vegeta pops and you can quit crying about it. Um, it it's a cool looking pop, sure, I wish he would have had the, the ripped clothes look and been all beat up and more bloody than he is, but I guess I'll take it. Uh, this one is really bad with the hairline. You can see there they like missed the paint on it and obviously this isn't going to be like it on all of them but it's even worse in person you can tell more but yeah they missed the paint you could get them signed they they came pre-signed already you could get one signed which was 60 and then the other one which was 20 so they essentially are 40 a piece and then he write whatever you wanted i couldn't really think of anything good so he just wrote ha like the vegeta is powering up not super exciting but i've got a blank one so if i ever if i ever meet him again i can have him write something on this one so yeah, and I've also, I noticed two variations with the stickers, so the collectors can lose their minds even more. Some of the over 9,000 stickers are like a shiny. They look like aluminum foil, kind of. And then some of them are just like a flat, it's like a flat silver, like a matte finish. You see how that doesn't really, that doesn't really reflect a whole lot. It's just kind of a matte gray color. Not very reflective, whereas this one you can really tell reflects light hardcore very shimmery so yeah and there's the stickers side by side so check out which ones you got if you got them let me know if you're able to get a Majin Vegeta and if you went to the Dragon Ball North American tour great time I highly recommend going to KamehaCon which is the second the second time they're doing KamehaCon which is also in that convention center in Irving in Texas because a lot of the English voice actors for the show 
um, live in Texas because that's where Funimation is. And if you don't have this pop yet, I would still wait a little bit because he's going to distribute them all throughout 2019 at conventions. He had a ton of them at the the convention that I went to in Dallas at uh, the Dragon Ball Tour. So he's going to have a lot coming out in uh, in 2019. So I'm sure the price will go down. I think it's setting at like 140 right now. Uh, same with these two. I'm guessing GameStop will get new waves in uh, probably in January or February if I had to guess. That's how it always is with these. You just got to be patient because they get the first... Usually. I mean, sometimes it's a limited thing. Like with the summer conventions, Hot Topic is not restocking those. They're gone. Um, and then I'm about to get to that. But it's the same issue with that. That won't get restocked. It's gone for good. But with things like this where it's just like a normal exclusive to the store... Um, they get their first wave in, and then everybody buys them, and then it takes them time for the like the suppliers to get it to the warehouse, for the warehouse to get it to the stores, but they will, I'm sure, these will show up back in stores, so if you miss them, don't worry quite yet. Uh, moving right along to this one. This is the only Funko Pop I have ever paid higher than retail for. Uh, it was really sad, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just lucky to have one because this pop is really, really cool. If you haven't seen this pop in person and opened it up, looked at it, it is a fantastic looking pop. I'm so glad I got it. And uh, even though I had to pay a little bit more than normal, um, the the I have two Hot Topics near me and uh, I was working that day. One Hot Topic got a box of six in, I believe. And that was when they were limiting only to like to five per person. So it's not really a limit when one guy can buy the whole box essentially on those con exclusives, but fantastic looking pop. Uh, and Hot Topic canceled online orders for him too as well, so he was pretty hard to get. So let me know if you picked him up. Um, and then this one was an AAA anime exclusive, which they did with the regular. Back in the day, there was a Super Saiyan Vegeta in Saiyan armor. Shout out if you remember that. You're a true fan. You've been collecting these for a while. If you remember that Vegeta, it was like a year or two ago. Um, but that's what AAA anime is. There are several stores online that get them. Big Bad Toy Store does and some others. I think I got it from a place called Dragon's Trading. But um, there's a few online stores that just get get the AA anime ones. And that's how I got my uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta with the Saiyan armor as well. So that's what those exclusives are from. Because back A lot of the boxes have been that same back of the box. And then, of course, we have the man who sold out 12,000 units in 10 minutes. People have gone crazy completely over these pops. He's one of the ones, I, I assume Hot Topic will get more of these at some point because it's just a Hot Topic exclusive. They've been uh, they've been restocking things like the Battle Damage Deku and some other ones. So it, sometimes it just takes them a while. They even recently restocked online uh, this base Goku from 2015, which a lot of people missed. Um, they restocked him online on Hot Topic's website, surprisingly. So... There's no telling, like, several months, six months down the line, they might restock this. But uh, I think most Funko Pops are sold in, like, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 units. So I don't know what the 12,000 amount for him was, but that's how much it was. They sold out 12,000 of them in 10 minutes, so that was crazy. I ordered them online. I was fortunate enough to stay up late and hit it on the website. I got an error one. Uh, you can't tell super well, but... You can right there. There we go. That foot, the right foot, did not get the yellow paint on it. So that was pretty crazy. Let me know if you, any, if you saw any like that. But yeah, there's what it's supposed to look like. He's supposed to have the yellow on his right foot, obviously, on both feet. So here has been the nightmare recently. Also with this one, Chris Sabat did a lot for the fans. Um, he, he tried as much as he could to stop resellers and flippers from... Uh, getting this pop so don't be pissed at him there were there were things that happened that he couldn't control obviously sure the website was shitty but so is funimation's website i'm i didn't get flocked beerus because that funimation website we all know who that how that is and uh i'm trying to think if i missed any others recently let me know if i'm missing any more i didn't get metallic weiss from the convention obviously was that new york yeah i'm i'm not i'm not trying to pay that much for a Funko Pop. If I hadn't gone, if he hadn't been at the convention at uh, the the tour when I went, I wouldn't own this. There's no way I'd pay $140 for a Pop because we all know Figuarts and Dragon Stars are way better than the Pops, let's be honest. 
so yeah I like collecting those way more but yeah so I'm deep in the collection obviously I've got most of the commons at this point as well and all these exclusives as well as most of the exclusives from the past I'm only missing some of the like convention ones some of like the the really hard ones to get the golden freezes you know the Arlie of Vegeta uh, some of the other like convention metallics like San Diego the ones you could only get at those places and I don't have the chrome Vegetas I don't really need those necessarily but I've got most of the most of the rest of the line and uh, yeah, please like the video if you enjoyed. Talk to me down in the comments below. Let me know if you're you're trying to get all these, um, if you're missing some, if you can't find some. Best of luck to everybody trying to hunt them down. I was talking about packaging earlier. I am a fan of these little shipper boxes that Hot Topic is including now, and uh, Box Lunch does as well, since Box Lunch is owned by Hot Topic. But I like those. They protect the pops a little bit better, so at least that's something. I'm a fan of those. And uh, yeah, there will be more videos to come. I collect all kinds of different things. Dragon Ball, I love it. It's my life. Um, and I love the, the Dragon Stars and the figure arts more, obviously. Yeah, you already know. You already know. So there's more videos of that stuff to come. Uh, on, on some video, I'll eventually review all these pops. So I'll take them out of the box and everything and show you guys all of them. In the past, you've seen my reviews of pops where I take them out of the box. But there was just so many that I wanted to show off. But yeah, more Dragon Ball videos on the way. I collect Star Wars Black Series, Marvel Legends, uh, a lot of Star Wars Lego. Um, what else? All kinds of Superman stuff. All kinds of different things. Power Rangers. So yeah, please subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, if you think you'd enjoy any of that content. And I will catch you all later. Hope you have a great week. Happy New Year. And peace out.